The lack of diversity in the Canadian film and media industry is an ongoing problem, but there are people working hard to fix that. Here to discuss the road to change is Alexis Ramgalam, and the managing director of POV Film, and cinematographer Ashley Iris Gill, joining me now in studio. So good to have you both. Alexis, I'm going to start with you. Tell me a little bit about POV's mission uh, to increase representation in these industries that I've mentioned. Um, well, thanks so much for having us today. This is really great to be able to talk about this. Yeah. Um, so POV is an organization that's been around since 2007. We operate in a really interesting space where we connect directly with communities who traditionally are underrepresented in the creative sectors, film and television especially. Mm -hmm. um, and we work directly with industry as well to make those connections between um, the communities that we work with and this incredible industry um, that exists here in Canada. Um, and we do that through running training programs and we also just you know, try to create those access points for folks to enter into the industry. Because it's all about access. Yep. Like you, it's very insider baseball, all of these television shows and films. And if you don't know someone on the inside, you're not getting in. It doesn't matter how talented you are. Exactly. So, Ashley, I think this is pretty cool. You went through this program <laughs> several years ago. Yes. Uh, tell us about your time at POV and tell us about your experience in the industry after you went through the POV program. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I did POV a couple years ago and it was amazing. Um, I think for me, the main benefit that I received from POV was just like the resources. Cause for me, it's like, I didn't have access to like cameras and like lenses and all the gear type stuff. So I was telling, I always say, I'm like, sometimes we know exactly the right tools, but we don't have them. So like, I might be working on something. I'm like, oh, if I had an extra light here, if I had this thing here, it would really elevate my work. So POV actually, they allow you to do a short film at the end um, of the program. And then they invite industry professionals to come to that screening. And then you, you have the ability to get internships. So for me, that was amazing because like uh, White sponsored it. So we got any gear that we wanted. We did a short film. And then um, I ended up leaving there and becoming an in-house DP at an ad agency. Like that was an internship wow. that became a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I did that for a few years. And then I pivoted, got signed uh, to Sessler as like they represent me now as a cinematographer. And been doing my thing since. Amazing. <laughs> so the work, you're like booked and blessed. Yes. Very nice. Definitely. Working steadily. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how we make sure we're not just checking boxes because that's what happens. A lot of corporations do this. A lot of companies do this. How do we make sure we're not doing that when it comes to diversity and inclusion? So I think it's, it's important to recognize, you know, I think checking the box is something that often makes companies feel really good about themselves, mm -hmm. but we don't really see sustainable opportunities coming from that. Um, so I think it's really, really important that when we're thinking about um, diversity, we're also thinking about like, how are we creating environments that are truly inclusive mm -hmm. um, and foster support for these folks we want to enter into our, our workspaces and you know, our production spaces and our creative spaces. Mm -hmm. um, it's beyond just checking that box. I think it's about creating really sustainable pathways for folks to, to network and to grow. Um, and then to be able to, you know, share those experiences, which again, I think Ashley can probably speak really beautifully to that, just based on your own experiences in the industry as well. Yeah. Anything you want to add, Ashley? Um, yeah, I think that like we, there is the whole like checking boxes type of thing. But for me, I, I try to not view it that way because I think that can really beat you down mentally. So for me, it's like even if I am there to like check a box, I still have to go and have the skill set to like do the job, yes. you know, and then within me checking a box, I also have the ability to like empower other people to also like work under me that aren't checking a box. It's like these are just like my creative friends who are people of color, who are women. Right. You know, because you can see who's skilled and who's not. It's like it's getting past our biases. And I think also one thing that helps me is I always remember that boxes have always been checked. We just weren't the criteria that w they were looking for. Yep. So boxes have always been checked. Um, we do want to show uh, a bit of the program. We've got, a, we've got like a, one of your ads here from POV. So let's take a look at that right now. Like most of Canada's film and media industries, Todd's studio is mostly straight and white. But by pledging to check their privilege, Todd Studio can now help fund programs to finally create a more diverse talent pool. And Todd, you can stop hiding behind this plan. What? Actually, 
I'm in the vents. Stop hiding from our industry's lack of diversity and pledge to help POV fix it. Just get into it. You got to talk about it. So that's POV's Check Your Privilege uh, campaign. And uh, it's a brilliant campaign because it does talk about how privilege plays a role in the lack of diversity. Before we wrap this up, I want to talk a little bit about what work still needs to be done. How can we all help this situation, Alexis? Um, so I think, you know, something that the campaign really touches on is like really looking at where can we use, we all have privilege, right? I mm -hmm. mean, it doesn't matter what our identities are. Mm -hmm. We all, we're multifaceted, we're intersecting. So I think it's important to really think about like, how can we be part of that change? And that's what we really wanna do is include everyone as a part of this conversation. I think it can be an uncomfortable conversation sometimes, but it's important to remember, privilege is not the problem, it's mm -hmm. what we do with that privilege, right? You know, and Ashley spoke about working with folks in her own networks and bringing people up. Um, you know, with POV, the campaign is really around donations, but there's ways that people can engage with this work as well. I mean, do you have a studio? Are you looking to hire diverse talent? I mean, there's so much that folks can do, I think, to really create an industry that's more welcoming and more diverse. And Ashley, anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I think um, to one, like there's one part of it where you can like donate, but I think also to create change, you have to kind of do it from the inside out. Mm -hmm. So I think other film professionals, I think it's definitely like reaching outside of your network, hiring people that you don't often work with, because like the film industry is very cliquey. Um, and yeah, sending the elevator back down. Like if you can't take a job, like refer someone else that, you know, is of a diverse group. Um, and yeah, just empowering people through like mentorship and training. Like it's not just about getting a job, it's also like giving them the tools to be able to do the job. Yes. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thanks so much.